Welcome to today's video about side effects of Ozempic injections. What if the medication millions rely on for diabetes control and weight loss comes with complications you need to know about? Ozempic has transformed lives worldwide, but medical research reveals a complete story that deserves your attention. Since its approval in 2017, semaglutide, the active ingredient in Ozempic, has become one of the most prescribed medications for type 2 diabetes. Clinical trials involving thousands of patients have documented both remarkable benefits and concerning side effects. The information we share today comes directly from peer-reviewed medical research. Whether you're considering Ozempic, currently using it, or supporting someone on this medication, the next several minutes will provide crucial insights backed by science. We've analyzed clinical trial data and cardiovascular outcome studies to bring you accurate information about seven documented side effects. Stay with us as we explore what research reveals about Ozempic's impact on your body. All right, let's break down the side effects of Ozempic injections, starting with the first one on the list, gastrointestinal disturbances. The most frequently reported challenge among Ozempic users involves digestive system complications affecting a substantial portion of patients. Clinical trial data reveals that gastrointestinal symptoms represent the primary reason patients discontinue treatment, making this the most significant tolerability concern. Nausea affects approximately one in five patients taking Ozempic, according to clinical trials. Research published in peer-reviewed medical journals shows this symptom typically emerges during initial treatment or dose increases. The nausea occurs because semaglutide slows gastric emptying, meaning food remains in your stomach longer than usual, creating feelings of fullness but also discomfort for many users. Vomiting presents another concern, affecting nearly 1 in 10 patients in clinical trials. This side effect proves particularly problematic during dose escalation periods when physicians increase medication strength. The slow digestion and increased pressure in the abdominal area contribute to these episodes. Diarrhea and constipation affect similar proportions of patients, creating an interesting paradox where different individuals experience opposite digestive responses. Clinical data indicates both conditions impact roughly 1 in 12 patients. The explanation lies in how semaglutide affects gut motility differently, based on individual physiology and existing digestive health. Research from the SUSTAIN and Pioneer clinical trial programs shows that gastrointestinal disorders were reported in approximately 40% of patients receiving semaglutide compared to 22-25% to receiving placebo. Most symptoms occur during treatment initiation and dose escalation periods. The encouraging news from long-term studies indicates these symptoms often diminish over time as the body adjusts, though some patients experience persistent digestive issues throughout treatment requiring dose adjustments or discontinuation. Next, side effect 2. Thyroid concerns. A serious warning appears on every Ozempic prescription due to findings from animal studies that raised concerns about potential thyroid tumors. This discovery has resulted in specific contraindications for certain patient populations and continues to influence prescribing decisions. Preclinical research involving rodents demonstrated dose-dependent increases in thyroid C-cell tumors when animals received semaglutide. Studies in mice and rats showed increased incidence of thyroid C-cell adenomas and carcinomas after lifetime exposure at clinically relevant doses. These tumors included medullary thyroid carcinoma, a rare but serious form of thyroid cancer originating from parafollicular C-cells. The critical question centers on whether these animal findings translate to human risk. Humans possess significantly fewer thyroid C cells than rodents, and human C cells have much lower expression of GLP-1 receptors. This biological difference suggests the mechanism triggering tumor development in animals may not function identically in people. However, regulatory agencies maintain cautious approaches given the serious nature of thyroid cancer. Current medical guidelines explicitly contraindicate azempic for individuals with personal or family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma 
or patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. These populations face theoretical increased risk based on animal data and underlying genetic predispositions. Post-marketing surveillance involving tens of thousands of human patients has not demonstrated the same thyroid tumor patterns observed in animal studies. A 2024 systematic review found thyroid cancer incidence in semaglutide users was less than 1%, suggesting no significant risk increase in general populations. Nevertheless, patients should remain vigilant for symptoms including neck lumps, persistent hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, or shortness of breath, which require immediate medical evaluation. Next, side effect three, hypoglycemia risk. Blood sugar levels dropping dangerously low represents a critical consideration, particularly when Ozempic combines with other diabetes medications. Understanding this risk helps patients recognize symptoms early and take appropriate action. Hypoglycemia, defined as blood glucose below 70 mg per deciliter, produces symptoms ranging from shakiness and sweating to confusion and loss of consciousness. Clinical trials demonstrated that Ozempic alone rarely causes hypoglycemia when used as monotherapy for type 2 diabetes. Patients using only Ozempic experienced hypoglycemic episodes at rates similar to placebo groups, indicating minimal standalone risk. The situation changes dramatically with combination therapy. Studies show that when Ozempic combines with insulin or sulfonylureas, hypoglycemia rates increase substantially compared to Ozempic alone. This occurs because multiple medications simultaneously lowering blood sugar create additive effects that can push glucose levels too low. The mechanism involves how different diabetes medications work. Ozempic enhances insulin secretion in a glucose-dependent manner, stimulating insulin release primarily when blood sugar is elevated. However, when combined with medications that stimulate insulin release regardless of glucose levels, the combined effect can overpower natural regulation systems. Medical guidelines derived from clinical research typically recommend reducing doses of existing diabetes medications when initiating ozempic therapy. Insulin doses often require reduction by 10 to 20 percent to prevent hypoglycemia. Regular blood glucose monitoring becomes essential for patients on combination therapy, with recommendations to check before meals, before bed, and whenever symptoms suggest low glucose. Clinical trial data shows severe hypoglycemia episodes were infrequent at less than 0.3 episodes per 100 patient years when patients were not receiving concomitant sulfonylurea or insulin, but rates increased significantly with combination therapy. Next, side effect four, gallbladder complications. Analyzing clinical trial data revealed increased rates of gallbladder-related problems among Ozempic users, a finding that initially surprised researchers, but subsequent investigation has clarified the underlying mechanisms. Clinical trials showed cholelithiasis, the medical term for gallstones, was reported in 1.5% of patients treated with Ozempic 0.5 milligram and 0.4% treated with 1 mg, compared to 0% of placebo patients. A 2022 systematic review and meta-analysis published in JAMA Internal Medicine examined 76 randomized clinical trials involving over 100,000 patients and found GLP-1 receptor agonists were associated with increased risk of gallbladder and biliary diseases. The connection stems from rapid weight loss, a common outcome of treatment. When people lose weight quickly, the liver secretes extra cholesterol into bile, disrupting the delicate balance of bile components. This cholesterol can crystallize and form gallstones. Additionally, GLP-1 medications slow digestion and may reduce gallbladder motility, causing bile to sit longer and become more concentrated. Cholecystitis, or gallbladder inflammation, represents another documented complication. When gallstones block the cystic duct, bile accumulates triggering inflammation that causes severe upper abdominal pain, fever, and nausea. 
Clinical trials noted that 90% of patients reporting cholelithiasis coded it as a serious event requiring cholecystectomy, surgical gallbladder removal. Patients should monitor for specific symptoms, including sudden severe pain in the upper right abdomen, particularly after eating fatty foods, pain radiating to the right shoulder or between shoulder blades, and fever combined with abdominal pain. These symptoms warrant immediate medical attention as gallbladder complications can progress to serious conditions requiring emergency intervention. Next, side effect five, diabetic retinopathy complications. The SUSTAIN-6 Cardiovascular Outcomes Trial revealed an unexpected finding regarding vision health that has important implications for patients with pre-existing diabetic eye disease. This discovery highlighted the importance of comprehensive patient screening before treatment initiation. In this two-year trial involving over 3,000 patients with type 2 diabetes and high cardiovascular risk, diabetic retinopathy complications occurred in 3% of patients in the semaglutide group compared to 1.8% in the placebo group, representing a statistically significant 76% increase in hazard ratio. Complications included vitreous hemorrhage, diabetes-related blindness, and conditions requiring treatment with intravitreal agents or photocoagulation. Further analysis revealed patients who developed retinopathy complications had distinct characteristics. They had longer duration of diabetes, higher baseline hemoglobin A1c levels averaging 9.4%, and 83% had medical history of diabetic retinopathy at baseline compared to 29% of the overall study population. Additionally, these patients experienced more pronounced hemoglobin A1c reductions. The mechanism relates to rapid improvement in blood sugar control. Research established since the Diabetes Control and Complications trial has shown that marked reductions in glucose levels over short periods can paradoxically worsen existing retinopathy in the short term. This occurs because sudden changes in blood sugar levels affect retinal blood vessel structural integrity. Medical guidelines now emphasize comprehensive eye examinations before starting Ozempic, especially for patients with known diabetic-related eye disease. Those with significant pre-existing retinopathy may require more frequent monitoring during the first year of treatment. Symptoms requiring immediate attention include sudden vision changes, floating spots, flashes of light, or dark areas in visual fields, indicating potential retinal detachment or hemorrhage. Next, side effect six, pancreatitis. Inflammation of the pancreas represents one of the more serious potential complications requiring immediate recognition due to its severity and potential for life-threatening consequences. While relatively uncommon, pancreatitis demands urgent medical intervention. Clinical trial data and post-marketing surveillance have documented cases of acute pancreatitis in patients using semaglutide. Research analyzing adverse event databases found pancreatitis occurred at rates of approximately 0.2% in some clinical trials. However, a 2024 meta-analysis involving approximately 35,000 patients found that semaglutide was not associated with higher risk of pancreatitis compared to placebo, suggesting the relationship remains complex and debated. Acute pancreatitis involves sudden inflammation producing severe abdominal pain typically radiating to the back, along with nausea, vomiting, and fever. The biological mechanism potentially linking GLP-1 receptor agonists to pancreatitis remains under investigation, though some researchers hypothesize these medications might increase pancreatic duct pressure or stimulate pancreatic cell changes. Certain populations appear at higher risk. Patients with history of pancreatitis face substantially increased risk and generally should avoid GLP-1 receptor agonists. Those with gallstones, which can independently trigger pancreatitis, require careful evaluation. Heavy alcohol consumption and elevated triglyceride levels also increase baseline risk. Recognizing symptoms quickly proves critical. Severe, persistent abdominal pain in the upper abdomen radiating to the back represents the hallmark symptom. This pain often intensifies after eating and may improve slightly when leaning forward. Nausea and vomiting preventing oral intake, fever, and rapid pulse accompany the pain in many cases, demanding immediate emergency evaluation. 
healthcare providers suspecting pancreatitis order blood tests measuring pancreatic enzymes and imaging studies, with treatment requiring hospitalization and permanent medication discontinuation. Next, side effect seven is kidney function changes. How Ozempic impacts kidney function represents an important consideration, particularly for patients with pre-existing renal disease or risk factors for kidney problems. Understanding this relationship helps guide treatment decisions and monitoring protocols. Post-marketing reports have documented cases of acute kidney injury in patients using semaglutide, though the mechanisms prove complex. The majority of reported events occurred in patients experiencing gastrointestinal reactions leading to dehydration, such as nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. When persistent vomiting or diarrhea occurs without adequate fluid replacement, blood volume decreases, reducing kidney blood flow and potentially triggering pre-renal acute kidney injury. Ozempic's official prescribing information includes warnings about acute kidney injury due to volume depletion, emphasizing the need to monitor renal function in patients reporting adverse reactions that could lead to dehydration, especially during dosage initiation and escalation. This type of kidney damage can usually be reversed with proper hydration, but may progress if not addressed promptly. Studies examining kidney function markers found some individuals experience changes in estimated glomerular filtration rate, the primary measure of kidney filtering capacity. However, interpreting these findings requires consideration that some apparent changes may reflect laboratory variations related to improved metabolic control rather than actual kidney damage. Interestingly, some cardiovascular outcomes research suggests potential kidney benefits from GLP-1 receptor agonists, with trials finding reduced progression of diabetic kidney disease in some patients using these medications long-term. Patients should monitor for symptoms suggesting kidney problems, including decreased urine output, swelling in legs or feet, unexplained fatigue, or changes in urine appearance. Regular blood tests monitoring kidney function become essential, particularly during treatment initiation. Those with moderate to severe kidney disease require careful dose adjustments. Maintaining adequate hydration provides critical protection against dehydration-related kidney injury. We've explored seven documented side effects that medical research has identified in patients using Ozempic from gastrointestinal disturbances to serious concerns involving the thyroid, blood sugar, gallbladder, eyes, pancreas, and kidneys, this information empowers you to make informed decisions. Remember that many patients use Ozempic successfully with minimal complications. However, awareness allows early recognition and prompt medical intervention. Always communicate with your healthcare provider report new symptoms immediately, and never adjust medication without professional guidance. Treatment decisions should involve discussion with qualified medical professionals who evaluate your individual health profile and risk factors. This video provides educational information, but cannot replace personalized medical advice. If this information proved valuable, please type helpful in the comments. Your feedback motivates us to continue creating evidence-based content. Hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe for more scientifically-backed health information. Thank you for prioritizing your health education today.